this video, you'll learn how to add call to action buttons in your WordPress website, all without writing any code. And we'll cover three methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So let me show you how you can do it with a post or a page with the Gutenberg method. You want to create a page or a post where you want the call to action button to go. So I'm gonna create a page and you can add all of your information in here and then over where the add blocks button is, you wanna click on that. And we're actually looking for something called button. This is it right here and this is perfect. So what you can do is add the button, choose how you want it to look on the page. If you want to center it over here, if you want to make the content bold or not, or italic, you can change all of that here. And then over on right, if you see we have different styles, you can change the styles here according to how you want it to look. You can also set the color scheme here, and this would be great for picking the right color scheme that'll work best for your theme. And also that will be catching the user's attention. So you can do something like that. And then once you're done with the design of it, you'll also wanna make sure that you paste your URL here. Ideally, this is where they can go to get their ebook or whatever it is your call to action button is for. You'll want to make sure that you add that in there. Go ahead and click the little arrow down here to make it the button and then you're done. We can go ahead and publish it to see this in action and we'll view the page. And now when I click on that, I send them to my homepage, but again, this will be specific to what you want them to do. So that's a real quick and easy way to do a call to action button with what you probably already have on your website already. But if you're still using the classic editor like you see here, then let me show you how you can create buttons using a plugin. First thing we wanna do is head over to our plugins area, go ahead and click add new. And in the search area, we want to type in the plugin for forget about short code buttons. This is the one we want. So want to make sure that you click install now and then go ahead and stick around to activate it as well. Great. Once it's activated, we can go back to the page or post that we were working on. You want to fill out the content on your page that you want and then you'll see this little icon here that says insert button. From here, you want to just work on the button design and how you want it to look. Add your text. Add the URL that you want to send them to when they click on the button. And what's great is you can also add the new follow or open in a new tab. This is perfect if you're sending them to say an affiliate link or something like that, where you want to open in a new tab, you can click that here. So those are the properties of it. Then you can also choose to add an icon in the button as well to spice it up a little bit. And then if you had any templates, then you could use the templates here and see once I click on the save icon up here, now I have a template that I can use anytime all throughout my site. So that's a great way to add a button. And then once we insert it, then we can do a little adjusting here. And once you're done with that, you can click publish and then we'll see what that looks like. And you notice it opened up in a new window for me, so that's perfect. So that's great if you're still using the classic editor. And now a third method that you can use is perfect if you're a local contractor or someone who uses phone calls to run your business. Let me show you a quick way to do a click to call button on your WordPress website. This will simply bring you a an awesome little button anywhere on your mobile site for people to call you. So what we wanna do is go back to our plugins area, add new, and this time we're searching for WP call button. And for this, this is the one we want. So let's install this and also activate it. And you see it right here. You can go into settings here, or you can also go under settings under here and find the WP call button here. You'll want to set up your phone number that you want people to call add the text for it. Down here, this is where you can choose how it's going to look. The full width looks really great on mobile, but you want to make sure to play with that to make sure it looks good, but is working properly for your visitors. And then you can set the color of the call button here. And down here, you can choose where to put it. You can either show it on certain posts, like maybe your quote page or something like that, or you can just show it everywhere and it'll show that by default. And then, down here, we just show call button only on mobile devices. This is perfect because on a desktop, people won't necessarily be able to use the click to call feature. 
All right, now that we have it all set up, we can go up here and click active and we'll click save changes. And since we set it up to only show on mobile, you'll have to, I'm gonna go down, right click, go down to inspect. And I'm going to click on this little feature that will toggle it to make it look like it's a mobile device. So you can see it in action. And so now that click to call button is down here. So those are three simple and easy ways to create a wonderful click to call button on your WordPress website, all without writing any code. And thanks for watching.